Hello, my name is Hunter Peterson, and I'm with Slack's professional services team. Slack has launched a library of key accelerator apps, all with the intent of boosting productivity, building quality, and improving the experience of Slack for our end users. Today, I'll be demoing IncidentBot. Before we get started, I'd like to focus on a few points related to IncidentBot's value drivers, what it solves, and the business outcomes to expect. Our primary value driver here is reducing incident time to resolution by automatically alerting and connecting responders, subject matter experts, and impacted parties. So how does that work and what does that look like? With IncidentBot, administrators can specify user groups and product specialists to take action for external entities, such as one of your customers, or for instance, an internal issue, such as a specific service. Both individual users, customers, or even automated alerts can submit issue reports for administrator review to kick off the resolution process. Additionally, incident status updates and reports can be shared across multiple org units and workspaces. So what is the impact of being able to do this with IncidentBot? Well, we have three key outcomes this enables. First, this allows multiple teams to align around a shared incident resolution process. Second, it automates the coordination process so the right people are brought together at the right time to solve critical issues. And lastly, this mitigates internal or external user frustration through the use of clear and consistent communication pathways. Okay, let's get started with our demo. Okay, so here we can see the app home area for incident bot. And as you can see, there are four key areas that we can configure. The first being our app admins, who also function as incident commanders. These are the people that will be notified anytime a new alert comes in, either through a user reported issue or an automated webhook. Next, we have our shift scheduler. Uh, so this determines which admins will be notified at which time. So if we go into our scheduler, we can add a shift for ourselves, for instance, using myself here, um, I can say that I am the on-call incident commander all day Thursday. Now, what this means effectively is if an incident is reported during this time, I will be notified. If no admins are scheduled for that time period, the entire admin group will be notified to ensure redundancy and that nothing is missed. Next, we can look at configuring our services. In this case, I already have a service here, network infrastructure for North American region. Uh, we can go ahead and, for instance, add a service for our Latin America region. What I'm gonna do here is specify certain individual responders or responder groups. In this case, I'm going to add on our network specialist from North America to also be our LATAM responder group. So if a service is tagged in a new incident, um, with this specific service, both these responders and these groups will be notified. Similarly, we can do the same thing for customers. I can add a customer and assign individual responders or responder groups. And these responder groups are natively created in Slack. Add them, make sure that they are notified anytime an incident for this customer is created. Now, before we dive into the incident reporting resolution process, I want to point out there's a couple specific channels that I have created here to facilitate this. Uh, first is the help report issue channel, where users can go and submit a workflow to report new issues and for these issues to be posted for admin review. The second one is an announce incidents channel. Um, where more generalized announcements about the incidents and status updates, resolutions are posted. Okay, so if we go here and look at our reporting channel, we can pull up a simple form where users can describe an issue or customers can use this as well, depending on your configuration. Okay, and we can also set a perceived um, severity level so that admins can review that as well. So now that I've reported this, I, as the on-call admin, will be notified as well in this thread and be tagged. Okay, now that I'm here, I'm going to acknowledge that I have seen this and that I'm taking a look. Okay, now in theory, if I take a look at this issue and determine it to be relevant, the next step would be to kick off the actual resolution process and create a swarming channel to get everyone together. So I can pull up a, another flow here as well. And I'm going to provide some basic information 
um, about this incident. Okay, and now this is where I can specify my specific services and customers. And as you can see, um, there are individual responders that were pre-assigned to either those service groups or those customer groups that are now pre-populated um, for receiving an invite to this channel, as well as the Slack native user groups that were pre-assigned. Multiple things have happened here. Uh, first of all, an incident channel has been spun up and all the relevant users that were either specified as individuals or part of the response groups have been invited. Uh, additionally, the summary of the incident has been posted and pinned to the top of the channel for users to refer to, and the channel topics have been set um, with those user groups, users, and severity levels, as well as the incident status. Uh, one other thing that has happened as well is myself as an admin, I've been notified that I am the incident commander uh, due to the shift scheduling when this was reported. And I've also seen that an announcement has been posted um, to our general announcement channel alerting all the users and uh, potential customers outside of the direct incident response process of what is happening. Okay, so now that I'm the incident commander, I will I can let everyone know that I'm here. So we have a number of flash commands available to us uh, to update the status, update the severity, as well as post announcements uh, to the channel. Okay, so I'm going to find my slash command and send an update. Let's say I have solved the issue now. Okay, now I'm going to again update, make an update here. Um, and what we're going to do is um, update our state or the status of the incident to all clear because we've solved the problem. And when this happens, I'm going to be asked to provide a reason. And now that I have resolved this, this is going to archive our incident channel and post an update announcement as well. If you'd like to learn more about IncidentBot and Slack's Accelerator app library, please reach out to your AE or CSM. Thank you.